Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is reverse linked list. So in this question, we're given a head of a singly linked list and we need to reverse the list and return it as the output. So if you take a look at this example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is now 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and 1, 2 changes to 2, 1 and you return that as the output. Now let's see how we can solve this question. I've taken the same example that I've given us. This is the linked list given to us. The head of the linked list is pointing here. So we are given the head of the linked list and the last node will obviously point to null. So the main idea to solve any linked list question is that we don't have to build a new linked list. We only have to play with the connections between the nodes. So here you can see 1 is pointing to 2, 2 is pointing to 3, 3 is pointing to 4, is pointing to 5. So instead of building a new linked list, you can just change the connections among these nodes. So we just have to reverse the connections. So after reversing, the linked list will look like this. And now you point the head of the linked list to the last node and you initially create a node null and which will be pointing here. So this is how you reverse a linked list. So let's go back to the original example and see how this can be solved. So if you think of reversing the connections between the nodes, you're actually dealing with three nodes at a time. The first node should point in this direction, the second node should point in this direction and the third node should point in this direction. So let's create three nodes and point it to its respective positions. So I create a node here which will hold null because once you reverse the linked list, uh, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 should point to null. So 1 will be pointing to null. So I create a node and assign it to a pointer previous. So this node will point here. I create a second node called current and point it to the head of the linked list because we have to start from here and I create a pointer next node which is at the node next to current so we run a while loop where current is not equal to null so until current reaches the end of the linked list we change a connection so in each iteration inside the while loop we point current.next to previous and now we move the three nodes for the next iteration so previous will point to current current will point to next and before moving the next variable to current.next we have to check if next is not equal to null because the while loop will check for current is not equal to null but next is one step ahead so before moving the pointer we have to check if next is not equal to null as of now next is not equal to null so we move to current.next so current is pointing here current.next is here so next will point there now we have completed one iteration now we go for the next iteration current.next should point to previous current.next is pointing to previous and you remove this connection and now you move the three pointers in the same way previous will point to current current which was here will point to next and next which was here which is not equal to null we move the next pointer to so next will point to current.next. Now the second iteration is complete now for the next iteration we point current.next to previous so current.next will point to previous and you remove the connection and you move the three pointers previous will point to current current which was here will move to next and next which was here so next is not equal to null so you move the next pointer to to current dot next now the third iteration is complete now go for the next iteration current dot next will point to previous and this connection will be removed and you move the three pointers previous will point to current current will point to next and next which was here which is not equal to null will move to the next pointer now the fourth iteration is complete in the next iteration let's do the same step current dot next will point to previous and this connection will be removed and we move the three pointers previous will point to current current will point to next and next if it is not equal to null we'll move to the next pointer but it is equal to null so it will remain the same we don't have to change anything and now in the next iteration we check if current is not equal to null but current is equal to null so we end the while loop now this while loop is ended now we almost have our answer now we have to return something right so to return the output our head should be pointing here and we already have a pointer which is pointing at that node so previous at the end of the iteration will always point to the last node so you move head to previous so head is pointing here and now we have the whole answer and now we can return head so if you return head you get the following output so this is the output you get head is pointing to 5 4 3 2 1 and null so this is how you reverse a linked list. So let's follow these steps and code it up in Java. Now let's implement the same steps I've shown you. This is the function name and we are given the head of a linked list and we need to return the same head of a linked list after reversing it. So first we'll do the base check that if head is equal to null, we'll return head. It means that there are no nodes and you can return it. Now let's declare the three pointers previous, current and next. So previous pointer will be pointing at null which is at the beginning current point current pointer will be pointing at the head of the linked list 
Now we use a while loop to reach the end of the linked list using the current pointer. Until current reaches null, this while loop will run. So current.next will point to previous. And now we have to move the pointers one step to the right. Previous which was pointing to null will now point at current. Now current will move to where next was pointing. But before moving next, we have to check if next is not equal to null because it is one node ahead of current. So we have to do a special check for next. So now we have moved the three pointers and this while loop will run until current is pointing at null. So then previous will be pointing at the last node. So we have to move head to previous so that we can reverse the linked list. Now we can return the head. So with this we have reversed the linked list. Now let's try to run the code. There you have it, our test cases are running. Let's submit the code. There you have it, a solution has been accepted. The time complexity of this approach is O of n where n is the number of nodes inside the linked list and the space complexity is O of 1 constant because we are not declaring a new linked list. That's it guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.